2.6 billion people were considered to have obesity. The number of causes of obesity is actually large. Genetic factors play a role, environmental factors play a role, stress often taking some medications may induce obesity. It could be due to mental disorders. It could be due to depression. It could be due to hormonal changes or other biological factors. All these may contribute to obesity. Hello everyone. I'm going to talk to you about the problem of obesity, not only globally, but increasingly in India also. There are a lot of myths about obesity and I'll try to debunk some of these myths and tell you about the facts about obesity. The first thing that you should know is that obesity is increasing all over the world. It is not just in the developed affluent countries of the world, but perhaps there are more people with obesity in the low and middle income countries like India than in the rich countries of the world. An estimated 2.6 billion people were considered to have obesity in the year 2020 and by 2025 it is estimated that this will increase to 4 billion people. The ICMR INDIAB study showed that almost 30% of people in India have abdominal obesity as shown by a body mass index more than 25 and if you look at abdominal obesity as shown by a waist circumference more than 90 centimeters in males and more than 80 centimeters in females then the prevalence is almost 40 percent of all Indians having abdominal obesity and in some states and particularly in women the prevalence already exceeds 50% of the population having abdominal obesity. So what are the some of the myths regarding obesity? I'll take this up one by one. The first myth is that obesity is caused solely by overeating. While it is true that excess of calorie consumption can lead to obesity, the number of causes of obesity is actually large and obesity is quite a complex disorder. Genetic factors play a role, environmental factors play a role, stress often taking some medications may induce obesity. Thus it is not only due to overeating that you get obesity and therefore the answer to obesity also is not just to starve yourself or to cut down on calories, we need to work around obesity with a much more holistic approach. Myth number two is that only grossly obese people are prone to various health disorders. This is not true. It has been shown that even milder grades of obesity or even if you're just overweight, you are prone to a plethora of health problems which include cardiometabolic disorders, hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease and even some forms of cancer can all be associated with obesity and it need not be that you have to be grossly overweight or grossly obese to develop these disorders. The third myth about obesity is that obesity only occurs in those who do not have willpower. In other words, it's a weak-minded people who get obesity. This is not true. Obesity can be because of several factors. For example, physical activity is very much needed. There are places where there, it is not safe for people to walk. They don't have the proper facilities to help them to burn off their calories. It could be due to mental disorders, it could be due to depression, it could be due to hormonal changes or other biological factors. All these may contribute to obesity and therefore we should even consider that if the diet and exercise is not working, perhaps the use of medications also to reduce obesity now that we have 
very good medicines to treat obesity should also be thought of in such individuals. The fourth myth about obesity is that it is not a disease. It is only a lifestyle choice because people are overeating, they are not exercising, they are having diabetes. It is not a disease as such. Now, if you look at a definition of a disease, it is one which has known risk factors and it also can lead to complications. If you look at the list of disorders which obesity can lead to, including mental disorders, depression, stigma, metabolic disorders like diabetes, dyslipidemia, hypertension, cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, strokes, and even some forms of cancer, osteoarthritis, back problems, and many, many other diseases. Here is a disorder which is linked to all of these and therefore calling or labeling obesity as a disease and giving it its due importance to be treated as a medical condition is not a bad idea at all and we should dispense with this idea that it is just a lifestyle disorder and you change your lifestyle and obesity will be corrected. If it was so simple, why is obesity keeping on increasing all over the world? The fifth and the last myth that I'd like to address is that a large amount of weight reduction is needed to get health benefits. This is not true and we have seen this in our own studies and our own experience that even a 5% weight loss, what do you mean a 5% weight loss? If somebody is 100 kilograms and that person loses 5 kilograms of weight, now the weight of that person has now come down only to 95. You may say, what is the big difference between 95 and 100? You'll be amazed that even with a 5% reduction in body weight, tremendous health benefits can occur. The sugars can come down, blood pressure can come down, they can feel much better, they can sleep better, obstructive sleep apnea can come down, snoring can come down, osteoarthritis can improve, 